So to get a handle on the actions of the muscles, just remember where is it going to, where is it coming from. So anything that is inserting onto the top of your foot is going to dorsiflex. So you find dorsiflexors in the front attached to the top. Plantar flexors are going to connect to the bottom of your foot and you're pretty much going to find those posteriorly. If we're thinking about inversion and eversion, things that are connected more to the lateral side of your foot are going to evert. Muscles which are connected more to the medial side of your foot are going to invert. So with that being said, let's go through the names. This is the tibialis anterior next to the extensor digitorum longus. See it's connecting out to the toes. And if you look on the lateral side, you have the fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. The tibialis anterior and extensor digitorum longus are both connected to the top of the foot, which is why they dorsiflex. However, the fibularis longus and brevis, they start in the front, but if you follow them down to their insertion, you see they insert on the bottom of the foot. So they're pulling the foot from the bottom, which is why they plantar flex. The fibularis longus and brevis are hooked more to the lateral side, so they plantar flex and evert the foot. Whereas the tibialis anterior, which is more attached to the medial side, inverts the foot and dorsiflexes the foot. And the Extensor digitorum longus, as you can probably guess from its name, also extends the toes. So, so when you come around to the back, as I mentioned before, for the most part, these are going to be plantar flexors. However, you do have some which are crossing the knee joint. So because they're crossing the knee joint, they can also help move the knee joint. So you also find knee flexors on the posterior part of the leg. So those knee flexors are going to work with the hamstring group. So this very large muscle is the gastrocnemius. The gastrocnemius has a lateral head and medial head and it sits over top of the soleus. Those three muscles together make up your triceps serrae. Because remember, your calf was your sorrel region. Coming up over the lateral head of the gastrocnemius, you can see the plantaris muscle, which you can see better if you pop that off. The plantaris muscle is going up to join your Achilles tendon to go to the bottom of your foot. So it's also going to plantar flex. The triceps serrae and the plantaris are all plantar flexors and knee flexors because they're crossing the knee joint. So coming down in, this is the pop lydius muscle. Remember the back of your knee was the pop lateal region. So this is the only one that doesn't do anything to the ankle because it's inserting onto your tibia. It's not going anywhere near your ankle, so it can't move your ankle. 
The popliteus just helps flex the knee. So everything we talked about so far works with the knee, but once you get down to these deeper ones, they are no longer crossing the joint, so they are no longer going to move your knee. This is the flexor digitorum longus next to the tibialis posterior and the flexor hallucis longus. All three of these muscles are going to plantar flex and invert, because if you pay attention to where they're going, they're all going to the lateral side of your foot.